We have team coverage tonight on the Russian invasion and the impact here at home. 8 News reporter Ben Dennis is standing by with more on the risk of cyber attacks. But first, we hear from Virginia leaders on this escalating conflict and the strategic moves the U.S. could take to try and stop the invasion. Virginia leaders reacting after Russia invades Ukraine. Governor Glenn Youngkin tweeting today calling Putin's invasion an assault on a sovereign nation. Yunkin saying we must hold Russia accountable and we pray for Ukrainian people and for peace. Senator Tim Kaine releasing a statement after Russian We're President Vladimir Putin, Putin announced military operations. The senator is saying make no mistake, Russia's aggression will continue to have significant consequences, including through additional crippling economic sanctions. Lawmakers canceling the Nord Stream 2 gas pipeline in Germany, cutting off access to Russia. Here's Kane speaking to 8 News yesterday. There's additional sanctions we haven't yet imposed, particularly sanctions that would essentially shut the Russian economy out of the Western banking system. Those would really have punishing effects not only on the Russian economy, but on some of the oligarchs surrounding Vladimir Putin. VCU political science professor Dr. Chris Burdett says Americans could expect repercussions in cyber warfare. We may see some uh, ripple effect as um, Russia attempts to remind the West that this isn't just simply a territorial question involving the Ukraine. Senator Kane says he believes the need for more sanctions will most likely be discussed when lawmakers return to Washington next week. Virginians could be shelling out more money at the gas pump, according to Thomas Beatty, a political science professor at Randolph-Macon College. Russia is one of the largest oil producers in the world. The cost of gas has already risen tremendously since the conflict has started, and he says uncertainty yields price increases. We talked with Chesterfield resident Travis Farrell, who was filling up his car earlier today. Now, he said the conflict is already hurting his wallet. It's a little, a little hard on gas, but I get good gas mileage in, in my car, so I'm all right. Gas prices aren't the only thing that could take a hit. Beatty says steel prices may go up and there could be a direct impact on those with 401k plans because of the uncertainty in the market. Well, cyber attacks are a looming threat as the U.S. and other allies push back on Russian efforts. Senator Mark Warner warning we could become a target as sanctions go into effect. 8 News reporter Ben Dennis is live in the Digital Center with more on how the U.S. government may react.